<laughs> Good morning, guys. I wanted to start this vlog was off today with bringing you guys with me, and I've taken you guys here with me before, but I just wanted to bring you guys with me today. I was just, you know, taking some time and reflecting and meditating. So I decided to come out here, and I love to come out here early in the morning because nobody be out here, guys. And as you can see, you can see like it's still selling in, it's early in the morning. So I just parked and got out and just took a brief little walk and just looked around. I looked at all the debris, I looked at all the leaves, a lot of them has fallen. I looked at how they have fell off into the water. And I just walked around and looked, and I could see the season has definitely, definitely changed. Because you got more on the ground than you do on the trees. And a lot of times when these seasons begin to change like this, season and things in our life begin to change. And we begin to feel all kind of ways, all kind of emotions, all kind of ups and downs. Because it looks dreary outside. And a lot of times it makes us feel sometimes dreary on the inside. And when we begin to feel dreary on the inside like that, all we can see is everything that has failed, everything that has fallen, everything that's not right, everything that's not going right. And then we forget that when we take the time and opportunity just to stop, stand still, and take a deep breath, we forget to focus on the goodness of God. You say, well, what goodness of God? If you look at this situation, just look at this. You see all this look like just a mess everywhere, everywhere. Just muck and mess and, and leaves and debris. But in the midst of all of that, look at these ducks. It's home to them. It's life to them. They're not worried about the debris that's in there. They're just swimming through it. they swimming around it. They still enjoying the opportunity to be able to be in water and move. And sometimes that's what we have to do. We have to, no matter what's going on, we have to stop and look and say, you know what, God? I still thank you because I still have the opportunity to just breathe and move. And if you have the opportunity to breathe and move, that means you have the opportunity to come up and come out and defeat anything that's challenging you. And you have to do that by, by seeing the goodness of God and thinking about the goodness of God and thinking about what God has done and knowing that, okay, God, if you did this before, you'll do it again. This is just momentary. The, the, this season that I'm in right now, yes, it might have debris everywhere. Yes, it might look ugly. But it's only momentary. Welcome to Done Thrifty Finds, and I am Ursula Thomas. And y'all know all my old subbies, please welcome the new subbies. Y'all know when y'all see me in the car, y'all know what time it is. Um, I know it looks like I have on the same top that I did in the other vlog. That's because I do. Because I will wear the same top, baby, severally. Not severally. Uh -uh, that sound nasty. But a couple of days, especially sweat tops and stuff, because I really wear them as a jacket. But anyway, welcome to my channel. Y'all know this channel was founded on bargain hunting, bargain shopping, just for less thrift with me, and a little razzle dazzle of everything, including cook with me. So, y'all know the other day that I was on the hunt for. Ooh, girl, done got hot now. I was on the hunt for uh, some fabric paint, and that didn't work out. I went to Michael's, that didn't work out. So today, I am on the hunt again, because y'all know I'm redoing my whole living room. Uh, what I was going to do, I was going to buy me a new couch and all this stuff. And it was like the Lord, I just really been talking to the Lord about different things like that. Did I say welcome? If I didn't welcome, welcome all my new subs. I love you guys so much. Y'all just stick with me. We're going somewhere. We're elevating. We're not going back. We're going up. So anyway, I was talking to the Lord about this. So newbies, if you don't know, I am a follower of my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Point blank down, period. So, uh, I was talking to the Lord about it because I am really at a point where I'm debt free. That's all I know is debt free, babe. And I don't want to go backwards. I want to push forward. So I'm really learning to spend my money more wisely. And people say, well, that's why you became a thrifter. Honestly, it's not. 
it didn't I didn't become a thrifty because I was so concerned about spending my money wisely. I became a thrifty because I was so excited about the things that I could find that was a better quality that people was actually going to the store and I get amazed every time I watch a thrifter. And I love to see thrifters that post up what's current and the price and then how they went to the thrift store and found if not the same exact thing but something so so similar for girl $4.99, $5.99, $12.99, $6.99. It's crazy to me that you would actually go into a store and buy a uh now I know some things you you just won't you can't find because you know thrifting has became so popular. But you know I was thrifting before thrifting became popular, girl. And so back in the day, girl, thrifting you were getting like suits for like $7.99. Do y'all remember that? suits for $7.99. Now, baby, a suit going to cost you anywhere from $19.99 to $29.99 to $39.99 to $49. Anyway, y'all get the drift. Anyway, so I love being able to go and that's why I love Dirt Cheap because Dirt Cheap to me is like thrifting. Dirt Cheap have incorporated looks, baby. I'm talking about Sam Edelman. I'm talking about uh, Jimmy Choo. I'm talking about uh, well, people might say Sam Edelman ain't luxury, but to some girl, it is child, look at this hair. I'm talking about uh, Farm Rio. I'm talking about who else people have been finding. In. I'm talking about, baby, Because we have a tendency to think that luxury is only Gucci, Louis Vuitton, Louis Vuitton. It sounds so Louis Vuitton. Gucci, Louis Vuitton, Versace. Um, there is so many brands out here. There's some of them that if you don't know, you just don't know. Anywho, why did I get all off onto this? Y'all know I love to chit chat, especially in my ride with me. So I got to run to Walmart and I'm running late. I do not go to Walmart. I do not like going to Walmart after after seven o'clock and it's now 8 31 so i gotta hit it and hit it quick i'm going in there going straight to this is the plan my plan is to go in there and go straight to the fabric see if they have any fabric paint and i don't want this little bitty paint then i got to dye some pants i'm gonna show y'all that when i get back home i thrifted these uh boohoo like right, boohoo Oh, baby, get out the street. Are they boohoo? I forget who they are, y'all. But anyway, I thrift them in perfect condition. And I thrifted a whole outfit. No, no, when I thrift, I can thrift whole outfits. Why, when I packed them up, y'all, I packed the cream. I didn't tell y'all what I thrifted. I thrifted these faux leather, faux leather, faux leather cream while they paint. When I put them up, y'all, I packed with all my four, 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 oh girl, I packed with all my faux leather and I packed black faux, faux leather on top of the cream faux leather. So y'all know what happened on it. It got hot and what happened. That black faux leather melted onto that cream faux leather. These pants are too good for me to just dump the way. So I'm going to try to dye them. And that's not why I need the fabric paint. But I'm going to try to dye them black. And I'm praying that it works. So we're going we gonna to do that today. Then I'm going to run by Dollar Tree because I hadn't put anything up on TikTok. I am getting ready to change my name. I, I dislike that for me because my names are three different names on three different platforms. So somebody tried to find me on one. They might. I don't know how that came about. <laughs> but I know now Find Your Fashion With Me was mine all across the board. But then I, when I changed my name because uh, my name was Find Your Fashion With Me for the longest, but that just seemed so long and I got tired of it. So then I just went to my regular name because I was like point blank simple. And then I was like, you know, so much crazy out here. Let me just come up with something that's relatable to me. So that's how I got Done Thrifty Finds. So we're going to stay with that. So I'm going to go in and put Done Thrifty Finds on everything. And so i probably do that before this week is out. What you going to do, maybe, love? What you going to do? And so, um, oh my gosh. Anyway, so I'm finna run in this Walmart. I pray that they have some. Do I need the bag up? Because he is like really way back there. I pray that they have some. Um, yeah, let's back up a little bit. I pray that they have some. Um, 
fabric paint that I can uh, get that's not little bitty because I'm not looking for this. Somebody did tell me to try Lowe's. So if I have to, it's a Home Depot right down the street. We're going to run in there if Walmart don't have it. Because this is something I want to go and get done. Because like I told y'all, this all started because I was telling y'all about changing my living room. Girl, see how I skipped? And I was talking to God and I feel like God just gave me the idea for right now. Not for forever, but for right now. You just want a new look right now because you're not happy with the look. It's like God gave me the idea change the fabric now i know i can get a uh, couch covers and all of this but sometimes them couch covers don't do like i want them to do and if i could find one even after i paint the furniture and it don't come out like i want then i do a couch cover but right now i want some fabric paint because i want to paint this bench i got well i actually found the bench in perfect condition my husband was out doing his uh his one of his customers y'all and they threw away a beautiful heavy cream bench and i told him no get that for me and i'm gonna do something with it so he got it which i will do do y'all do that honey i'm a innovator i'm a i'm a change a raider i'm a change the nation i'm a i'm a make a shake kind of girl so it had good bones good bones good 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 bone structures and he got it for me girl i'm trying to go so fast now i i do have my study book purse and i'm gonna have to take that with me y'all because i'm not leaving that in here and make somebody think that it's a purse and it is my it's it's you gonna fit up in here girl it's my study purse so what i'm gonna have to do girl is carry two purse and that's all right with me let's go See what they got in the dollar spot. They got these. Those are cute little gifts. I just seen some at a haul something like this, and they got it from either Target, Hungry, somewhere. It's five dollars. This is a cute base. This is so cute. That's cute. Alright, so they look down the spot giving. I do need to find two ginger. I got the craziest basket look like. I do need to find two gingerbread houses because me and my husband doing a competition. And this is nice. Uh, look at that. All right, let me get to this fabric paint. things over here these that's a cute vase right there and i like that one right there like a cylinder vase but as far as <laughs> i got a boot like this but i think i got square toe baby when i tell you walmart or yesterday Hmm. 
They were all my long gone. Look at these. Y'all kind of remind me of them Zara boots. They just, I just got a silver tip. Let me scan on here for a sec. Child. I had to run to Home Depot. They didn't have none. Um, somebody left their trunk up. Why that lady? Why that lady was so interested in, in um the pants and stuff I got? She started ringing the other folks stuff. She started ringing up other folks stuff with my stuff. I got these little three dollar pants because I think they, I don't know if they probably like, they pretty thick, probably for fall. And I thought with a sweatshirt and some slides, it'd be good for just riding in the morning, coffee run in the front. And I got some eco style. I got the big thing, 357, because the, I was going to get the, let's make sure it rung up 357, yeah, 357, and then I got the other one, 198, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, because the other little bit is, Small four with we three ninety seven. I don't have. I might as well get the big thing. So I be wanting to do something. I be like, dang, I wish I had some eco three thousand. So I just went home and got that three fifty seven. Then I just got some fabric glue because sometimes I be wanting to. You know how you thrift little things and it be like just a little small rip. Somebody gonna lift their trunk up. They gonna be well. At least have about more than they stuff. Praise God. Oh, you know how sometimes some have a little rip or something, and it'd be like, man, I just need a little taste of fabric uh, tape. So I got a little fabric glue just to help it the house. And I was now I'm finna run to Home Depot because I really want to finish this project so I can start on my couch because so I can order my curtains and because I want to start filming in my living room. And the Michaels didn't have it, Walmart didn't have it. So the only other place that I know to check, and it done warmed up, y'all. The only other place I that's why I don't be wearing coats and stuff. That's why I be having these little sweatshirts and stuff on. The only other place I know is Home Depot. That might Home Depot lows that might have something like that, and I hope it ain't expensive, super duper expensive, because I ain't trying to spend a whole lot of money on it, because I just need it for just. I started on the bench, y'all show us. I, I showed y'all. I just need to put another coat on and to finish it up so I can start on the couch. But then I got to buy some leather paint. So 
I don't want to have to buy no big old huge thing of fabric paint and then turn around and buy a big huge thing of leather paint. So I'll see y'all at Home Depot. Hopefully they got it. We head home. I want to finish that project. Plus, I want me a smoothie. Mm, I don't know. We'll see. Okay. See y'all at Home Depot. Well, somebody glad. Y'all see how that glad? Anyway, we at Home Depot. I ain't been to Home Depot. Actually, I've been with my husband the whole time, but me actually going in, it's been years. Hopefully, they got what I'm looking for. Paint. Yeah, that was a bus. I should have recorded. First of all, who child? First of all, the man, he didn't try to hit me. He just said, Al 7. So, find out, find Al 7, get on Al 7. All I see is spray paint. Now, Amazon did Amazon. I should have, I should have did, I should have did it. I did not, I should have did it. And I started to. Amazon had the fabric paint with the fabric spray paint. I was like, no, I don't need all that because I. Oh, yeah. Listen to the Holy Spirit when the Holy Spirit talked to you. So, he sent me over, to, sent me over, took me forever. I kept that I was missing. So, this other guy, he was helping another lady. And I don't like to do that because people get offended sometimes. But I had been walking around. I say, sir, do you know if y'all have any fabric paint? He sent me right back where the guy sent me. Well, it's going to be on aisle 7 if we do. I go back on aisle 7. I'm going to just take my time. I take my time. You know, my legs are healed, but they still, you know, sometimes, you know, the pressure can, I need to get off of them. Uh, that's why I really hadn't been walking every day because I'm building myself back up. I don't want to go through all this glass. So, um, so my legs getting tired. I can tell they're ready to sit down for a sec because I've been up running all through Walmart and stuff. I was running through Walmart. I, I, my goal was to get in and get out. Woo, this heat, it done got hot, y'all. So, I go over there, look in, see nothing. So finally, the man that's helping the other woman, she needed some on that aisle. So I guess he saw me looking at, I saw fabric paint exterior. So he said, that's going to be your best bet right there, man. I said, no, I don't want fabric paint exterior. I know people paint, paint fabric. I see it. I'm like, I don't want fabric paint exterior. I want the interior. Oh, well, no, we ain't going to have that. We ain't going to have that. We ain't going to have that. So then I guess he saw the frustration. So he sent somebody over. I was like, oh, thank God. Finally. And I was explaining to her. And she was like, no, we don't have it. Then she gonna tell me you have to go to Michaels or somewhere. I said, yeah, Michaels the one told me to go. I said, yeah, I went to Michaels. I said the only thing they have is these little bitty things, like for a t-shirt or something, and that's not gonna do me any good. I don't know if it's the city I live in. Y'all, I don't know what it is, but I just said, okay, thank you. I'm finna run in this DDs because I'm looking for something for some stocking stuffers for a grandbaby. And I say that y'all know y'all think I be talking about my like she a baby. Girl, she 18. Well, she finna be 18 next month. She ain't no baby. I need to quit saying that and get that at my frame of mind. This girl finna go off to school in six months. All right. Let me um Run into DDs. I was gonna go to Ross. I'm gonna run to DDs and see if I find some stock and stuff. I might run to Ross. I don't know. I'm gonna take y'all to DDs. If I see anything worthwhile, I'll pop on and show y'all. Oh, I just knew I was gonna finish. So now I got to get back on Amazon and order about three of those things, I guess. And that little bottle cost me $16. That's why I didn't want to do that. But if I'd have followed my mind and did follow the Holy Spirit and did that. That bottle of spray with that paint, that fabric paint. Also, I probably would have been enough and would be through. So, I might just have to get a couch cover for my couch and don't worry about painting it. I think that's what I'm going to do. I think I'm just going to get a couch cover. 
and I don't think I'm gonna worry about paying it. Let's run in here and see do they have any stock and stuffers. I don't know if I'm gonna go to Ross. I'm gonna see how I feel when I come out of here. Uh, I know I got an errand to run tomorrow, but I don't think I'm gonna take this off me to tomorrow because I haven't been really doing like I wanted to do. I wanted to vlog something every day, but I didn't just want to throw something up just saying, okay, I got a vlog. Plus my computer, not my computer, my phone is being so crazy. Oh, uh, it's, I don't know what's going on with it. Then y'all know I've had two cameras. I wonder if I just try to go back, y'all. The unfortunate thing is I don't even know what I did with my big camera. I don't know. Let me run in here because I, I, I ain't finna be in here all day, girl, because the day will be gone before you know it. Let me run up in here. These. I wish they had more cushion in them. And look at these. Y'all know those Zara boots. I promise you these put you in the mind of them Zara boots. These kind of what I'm looking for. I'm see what they had these in my side. Look at these. I like these. Steamer. Nope. Let's see, can I find them other shoes in my size? Uh uh. I'm finna take so hold on. We out of there. Let me tell y'all something. Since you got grand, I can say babies, granddaughter, grandchildren that like this little fast fashion, this stuff. Baby, I like that faux leather brown jacket myself. $13. And I'm going to tell you, you take that same jacket and you take that jacket over there to Nordstrom, I can guarantee that jacket going to be $49, $59. dollars same quality in everything and that's a good quality for leather so i text my granddaughter they had it in black they had it in brown now they did have those long vests that everybody wearing i found one at play those cloths for 25 dollars it was the h&m one and i didn't get it this was last year i wish i would have got it but this is what i'm saying a lot of this stuff that i just seen same quality. I got one more stop and I'm going home. Same quality. Same quality. That brown, I'm coming back to get that. I don't think my granddaughter wants it, but I want it. That brown, I just trying to be more disciplined. I wanted to take time. I didn't want to impulse back. I did that too many times. And because I really don't wear, I have a lot of beautiful coats, 
but I really don't wear coats. I wear coats mostly to church, but when I'm out and about or if I'm on a date and it calls for a certain look and it's cold enough, but when I'm out about like I am today, I do these. That's why I like to have a lot of these, but then I don't have nowhere to put them to put them up. But I like to do sweatshirts and I like to do, uh, uh, I mean, pull on with sweatshirts and I like to do like jackets like that for $12.99. Then I just said, let me just go through some more of the outerwear. They a lot of this stuff that these people are showing, and I'm telling you something about this faux leather. The faux leather is good. It's not like that paper bag, garbage bag type faux leather. The faux leather is good. It's good faux leather. It's the kind that he drives so fast. It's the kind that you will literally find like at Nordstrom's or you know, somewhere like that. I'm talking about good faux leather. I guarantee, and I believe I done seen this jacket somewhere else. Save your money. I get on over here because he got somewhere to be, baby. Save your money. Save your money, baby. That stuff, and the way people follow trends now, it's just, you just, you just, throwing away stuff over and over again because they'll say you run out and they say faux leather is in crop faux leather jackets in you go out and spend 100 190 180 200 210 whatever on a faux leather crop jacket because you seen the look i i when i when i see a look in my head and i can do that look with good quality now that jacket is a jacket you'll have for a couple of years that's one you'll have for a couple years. That's not one you're going to wear and go out somewhere and somebody bump into you and they purse strap get you and they rip it all apart like Hulk Hogan. That one you're going to have. You just got to know. And I've been saying that for years. You got to know your quality. And I taught my kids that. At, you know, when they was growing up, everything was Macy's, this and this and that. And I would, they would, we would shop at Macy's. We would shop at Sears. We would shop at Family Dollar. We would shop at General Dollar. We would shop at Nordstrom. We would shop, we would shop anywhere because I know quality. I would have to, I go and touch it. That little fuzzy jacket that people are paying all this money for because it's on trend. Baby, that little thing in there, I think it was $14.99 or $12.99. It wasn't over $15. And then that other one that people are talking about that like shiny like um parachute type pants material that's inside baby i think that was 13.99 so cute so cute but uh i'm gonna show grand i'm gonna let her pick her out too i'm gonna go get her them too and then i'm getting me that that uh brown because i don't have anything brown but i wanted i did not want to shop off and put y'all i picked that thing up put that thing down I got a bigger size and a bigger size fit me like I like for my jackets to fit me because I like to put stuff on under it then I don't like to feel like I'm I'm choking out so I I put it back I picked it back up I put it back I picked it back up <laughs> oh my god oh my god then I envision a brown I turtleneck with that with some jeans with some leggings and some boots i'm definitely going back i'm definitely going back but i want to get green because that's not a a need that's a more of a want so grain got one jacket that she really like and it's kind of on this style now she said she liked those longer vests but i would prefer because that was ten dollars but it was it's really like a spring vest so if I could find her one out of quality on that one, I ain't gonna lie. It wasn't just, it was Maurice, I think that was the brand, and the quality just one top tier. It, the quality, if you wear it two, three times and jump out the car too fast, it might just fall apart. But I wish I knew she was into that because I found one last year that H&M, good quality, it was long, but it was twenty five dollars. I was like, I ain't finna get them twenty five dollars. But that's before I knew them. Them things were eighty dollars at H and M. Baby, I I I I'd slap that twenty five dollars down like they used to do back in the day at the, at the car table. Whop, whop. Take it. All right. So I gotta run it all this because I'm making me some chicken salad for dinner slash lunch, and I need some. What I want to put in my chicken salad? I want to put some raisins in my chicken salad. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, okay. I guess I might take y'all and all this. I don't know. I don't know these y'all. I feel like y'all trying to kind of trying to look at me a certain kind of way. And I don't want y'all seeing if I'm finna put in my chicken set because I already feel like you're looking at me a certain kind of way. Sit in my hood now. Somebody else parked in front of our garage. Hubby can't get in the garage. This is what I'm talking about. Disrespectful. And I get whoever that U-Haul is, this that green car. <laughs>